Now we turn to Libya. A warplane from the eastern-based Libyan National Army has attacked the military camps of the UN-backed government in the capital Tripoli and the western city of Zawara. No casualties have been reported yet. Fighting continued on the outskirts of Tripoli on Friday with reports of increased use of heavy artillery. Meanwhile, hundreds of protesters gathered in Tripoli to rally against the ongoing fighting and the LNA led by Khalifa Haftar. The UN says almost 10,000 people have fled their homes in areas affected by the conflict. Concerns are growing over poor sanitary conditions and the outbreak of disease, while hope for a peace deal fade. Adoli Mahui reports. Concerns are growing in Libya and international organizations are warning of an increased humanitarian crisis within Tripoli as has been the siege of war continuing there for six continuous days. The World Health Organization is warning that there might be a spread of disease, specifically measles and tuberculosis, besides other diseases that are related to the hygiene in general as Tripoli's infrastructure is deteriorating. And UNHCR is saying that 1,500 refugees must be evacuated immediately. The UN calls for a ceasefire and the EU is starting to evacuate its missions in Tripoli. Other diplomatic missions from Asia and other countries have also recalled their um, representatives in Tripoli. Germany has vowed to put 500,000 euros to assist the humanitarian situation in Tripoli. On the other hand, it seems that the trust between the two governments is this. General Khalifa Haftar's government, the Eastern Bloc, has issued a warrant to arrest Faisal Sarraj, the head of the Presidential Council, the government recognized by the United Nations, and other eight prominent figures in his cabinet. Al Sarraj's army says that Sarraj is no longer in control of Tripoli and that terrorist groups are there. Now it is becoming more clear that there is an intention, a clear intention from Haftar to remove Sarraj entirely from the picture and proceed with um, his um, army towards Tripoli and to gain control over the Libyan capital, which puts any hopes for negotiations and a peaceful political solution far away from becoming any reality anytime soon. Adel Mahrui, CGTN, Cairo.